scary, and I need to prepare you right here, right now, okay? You're gonna have to fend for yourself. Cooking? I know, I know, no, no, it gets worse. Dishes? Oh. You probably heard that rumor, right? I know it goes around the Lido deck. People are like, you know, when we get off here, we're gonna have to cook our own food. What? But one thing that's always overlooked, before you can cook the food, you've got to go out and buy it. <laughs> it gets worse when you go to the bathroom, right? Oh. No, not like that. <laughs> when you go into the bathroom is what I mean. Toilet paper. It's not automatically folded into a point. <laughs> Somebody has been doing that for you? Yeah. And okay, as soon as we're going there, I'm gonna tell you right now, because you're gonna find out when you get home, right? You're at home and you take a shower, you dry off, you drop that towel on the floor. It doesn't matter how long you go out of that room for, when you come back, the towel, it's still on the floor. What? If you struggle to adapt to life in the real world, just know this one thing. You are welcome back anytime. We will happily look after you. It is so incredible to be cruising again, and we are so grateful to have been able to share this experience with each and every single one of you. Now, I'll waste no more time. Let's dive in to our debarkation talk. Thank you so much for turning up this morning. It is very important that you understand this process that we're gonna go through tomorrow. Before you go to bed tonight, casino players, make sure you cash in your chips. Your casino chips are worthless in the real world. You can't walk into the, your department store and hand over that little plastic disc and be like, give me everything. <laughs> it's worthless. So make sure you empty your casino wallets and cash in your chips before you go to bed tonight. The casino closes tonight. It will not be open when we get back into U.S. waters. It's not allowed to be. So make sure you do all of your account business tonight. Also, the shops. We've got tax and duty free items. Today's your last day to make the most of it. And we are very nearly at the holidays. So shop till you drop. If you've seen it, you like it, buy it. I need to tell you very quickly about the Carnival MasterCard with fun points. Who feels like they leak money on a daily basis? I do, somehow. I feel like my wallet and bank account has sprung a leak. If you feel like I feel, maybe you sometimes use a credit card to help take the edge off your finances. Am I right? Okay. Well, the Carnival MasterCard with Fun Points not only helps you that way, but it also fuels your cruising addiction. Do we have any cruise addicts in the room? Oh, it's like a recovery group. Nice to have you all here. Right. <laughs> I promise you, the Carnival MasterCard with Fun Points is the way to go. Why? Because for every dollar you spend in the real world, you get a Fun Point. For every dollar you spend on a Carnival product, you get two Fun Points. And I know what you're thinking, what on earth are these Fun Points? Well, it's like cruise cash. For everything that you would spend on your sale and sign card, drinks from the bar, creams from the spa, you can use these Fun Points. The more Fun Points you build up, the more fun you can have on your next cruise. Also, you can apply on board. Now, if you apply on board and are approved, after your first balance transfer or purchase, you'll get a $250 statement credit. Now, I'm not a financial advisor, but when I see an opportunity, let me share it with you. If you apply on board today and are approved, you can put your cruise charges onto that credit card. They give you a $250 statement credit, which takes $250 off your cruise bill. Can I get a ka -ching? ka ching There we go. If you want to find out more, head on down to Deck 3. The Carnival Adventures team will tell you all about it. Now, talking of finances, on the last day of the cruise, who's cruised before? A lot of you. Who's on their very first cruise? Okay, on the last day of the cruise, it's really important that you check over your account balance, your account summary. How can you do that? Well, if you're using the Carnival Hub app, you can do it from anywhere around the ship, right in the palm of your hand. If you would like to go and use one of our kiosks, our self-service kiosks, to either add money, take money out, to add a credit card onto your account, to change the card that's registered, you can use our self-service kiosks. They're available on deck three, opposite guest services, or deck five, next to the Effie Boutique in the forward of the ship. 
You can use these self-service kiosks and they're so much better than standing in line at guest services. On the last day of the cruise, the guest services desk gets really busy. So if I can share some advice with you, as someone who's been working at sea for well over seven years now, if there's a line at guest services, walk on by. <laughs> they are there 24 hours a day. So if you see a line, don't waste time standing in line, okay? Today's all about having fun. If you need urgent help, stand in line. If it has to be done then and there, okay. But if it's not immediate and there's a line, or come back. Come back when there's no line or pick up a phone and dial 7777. What was that number? 7777. And you can speak to the guest services team. They'll help you out, okay? Now, talking of your onboard accounts, who opened their onboard account with cash, cold hard cash? Where are the rich people? If you opened your account with cash, please make sure that you balance your account before you go to bed tonight. Meaning, if you've got money left on your account, take your money back from us. Don't try and get off the ship without taking your money back from us, okay? And if you've spent a little extra, if you've spent more than you deposited, we won't let you off the ship until you pay up. Now, I know that sounds like a very easy way to extend your cruise, but I promise you, it's awkward for everybody. So please, pay your bill tonight before you go to bed to make sure that tomorrow when we get back to Long Beach, you can just walk off the ship stress-free, no problems, no hold-ups with security. I promise you, it's the easiest way to go. Now, if you didn't open your account with cash, my guess is you opened it with a credit or debit card. Where are my plastic people? Plastic people, great news. You don't have to do any sort of balancing. It's the beauty of using plastic, providing you have enough money on the card that you registered with oh. us to cover the bill that you built up, you are good to go. Do be advised if you are using a credit or a debit card that holds will have been placed on your account. Now, this is your bank that puts this hold on your account, okay? It's not Carnival. Carnival haven't taken that money, it's just frozen in your account, a little like Thanksgiving. It will take some time to thaw out, but eventually you can have some fun later, okay? So there will be a hold on your account, it's your bank that's done that, not Carnival. We cannot expedite the release of those funds, just be aware. Now, the demarcation information, the good stuff, the reason why you're here, am I right? I'm right. So, getting off the ship. First of all, there are two methods for debarkation. Our express debarkation is where you carry off all of your bags. If you want to get off this ship as fast as you possibly can, the best way to do it is to carry off all of your own bags. If you're sat there thinking, I can't carry all of those, don't worry, we'll carry them for you. But please understand, if you check your bags in with us, it takes a little time, okay? And you have to wait until your bags are prepared and waiting for you in the terminal before we will let you off. If you check your bags in with us, you will have to wait on board until your bags are prepared and ready in the terminal building. So if you want to get off the ship as fast as you can tomorrow, my advice is carry off your own bags, okay? For those of you that decide to check your bags in with us, there are two windows for baggage. We've got the early window, which is 10.45 until 11.30. That's when you can expect for your bags to be prepared. We also have the late window, 11.30 until at latest 12.15. In practice, we have had everybody off the ship by about 11.45, 12 o'clock, okay? So for those of you that are not in a rush, maybe you're local to Long Beach, you don't have too far to travel, I recommend taking a relaxed approach to tomorrow's debarkation. Let those people that are in a rush get out as fast as they can. And if you're not in a rush, kick back, relax, let all that go. Have you seen the scene from The Lion King with Mufasa? Yeah? Don't be Mufasa tomorrow, okay? If you're not in a rush, just hold back. Let that go and you can relax and walk off the ship stress-free. So a little more detail about our express demarcation. How do you know when it's time to go to the gangway? I will call you by the letter and number that's printed on your cabin key. Everyone with a cabin key, take a look at it right now. That bottom left corner, there's a letter and a number. That used to be 
your master station, okay? Now, we've got a lot of people in this room, everybody, and I'm gonna look at all of you, okay? When I call your master station tomorrow, you do not go to your master station. For the last three cruises, guests have been going to their master stations. Tomorrow you are going to go home in your car or on an airplane, no. not in a lifeboat. <laughs> so when you hear your muster station call tomorrow, you go to the gangway, not to your muster station, okay? I know I'm being silly about it, but I promised you the last three cruises guests were trying to go to their muster station. Where do you not go tomorrow? Muster station. Where do you go? Yeah. The gangway, someone shouted, oh! Yeah. It's emotional, I know. But friends, when I call you by your muster station, you are called to the gangway. Please wait until your muster station is called. Why? Because this is how we control the flow of people. There can only be so many people stood on that big long gangway at any time. It's a safety thing, okay? I wish. I could give you all priority and let you all out at exactly the same time, but I can't. There has to be someone who is first off, and there has to be someone who is not first off. So please respect the system, respect the announcements. Listen in the morning, and only when you are called to the gangway should you make your way there. When you're going to the gangway, have your cabin key out and in your hand. Our security needs to scan you off the ship. So everybody needs their cabin key, and please have it in your hand. Not in a pocket, not in the bottom of a purse, in your hand. Because then you get to the gangway, they go boop, and away you go. Have you got it? No, no, this takes up time, and everyone behind you is upset. And they're not upset with you. They're upset with me. So do me a favor, have your cabin key out and in your hand. Also, make sure you've got your proof of citizenship Handy. You don't need that in your hand for our security, right? But as soon as you make it past our security, your cabin key, put it in your pocket. Then get your passport, your birth certificate, your green card, whatever it is you're traveling on, okay? Have that out and in your hand. Good to go? Okay. For my friends that check their luggage in with us today, you need to collect one luggage tag for every suitcase you would like us to help you with. Please do not collect luggage tags for carry-off. If you leave tags behind for other people, everyone can enjoy that service. If you take a ton of tags today and put them on every piece of carry-off, other people can't access that service. So please, only one tag for every bag that you need, okay? One tag per bag. That's how that goes. The tags are numbered. I will call you to the gangway when your bags are ready, by the number that is on your luggage tag. Now I know what you're thinking. Where do I get these tags? If you want to know where you get the tags, say, Where do I get these tags, Lee? Where do we get these tags, Lee? Oh, you sound worried. I'll tell you. <laughs> They'll be available on deck 10 between 11.30 and 8 p.m. But if you stick around until the end of this presentation, maybe I've got a surprise for you. You're my favorites because you turned up. I don't want to spoil the surprise. Please pack your bags tonight. Now do not waste time folding dirty clothes. No, my mom did it as a kid. I never understood why. End of the vacation, dirty clothes. When we get home, they're going in the machine, but she would not pack that case without folding everything. Pristine. What a waste of time. Screw it up, stuff it, zip it up, forget about it. Huh. Don't waste any time. And, no, I know what you're thinking. This lady's down there. She's got her arms folded. She's like, my bag won't close if I don't fold those clothes. Sit on it. <laughs> Zip it up. Forget about it. And if, when you sit on that suitcase, if it doesn't zip up, don't worry. Go to that Lido buffet. Eat some more. Come down. Sit on it again. Repeat until it closes. <laughs> But do not waste time folding dirty clothes. Right, let's carry on. Once you've got your suitcase closed and there's a tag on it, put your bag outside your cabin between 9.30 and 11 tonight and we will take care of the rest. Then all you need to do is listen for your luggage tag number to be called 
tomorrow. And as soon as I call your tag number, you make your way to the gangway, okay? As with the carry-off guests, make sure you have your cabin key out and in your hand and your proof of citizenship with you. For those of you that are checking your luggage in with us, make sure you also leave out any medication, any necessary medication you take on a daily basis, okay? We don't want any cray-cray on the gangway. <laughs> also, leave out something to wear. Oh. <laughs> no, you laugh. Is that this was a reality for me out of the port of Long Beach, California. Debarkation morning. There's a request. Man wants to speak to the cruise director. I come down and say, sir, how can I help you? He says, son, I need you to open the shop. I said, oh. He said, I explained yesterday in the talk that the shop's closed. You should have, you should have gone last night. I'm, I'm really sorry we can't open the shop. He said, you don't understand. I need you to open the shop. I could tell that this man was in trouble. And he was probably married. I didn't know what the problem was, but I knew it was his fault. <laughs> this guy's like, I know that feeling. I looked at him, I said, sir, I said, I'm really sorry, I can't open the shop, but maybe I can help you. What do you need? He said, Lee, I need clothes for my wife. <laughs> Let me take you back inside. That couple had had a wonderful last night of the cruise. A wonderful last night of the cruise, okay? They went back to their cabin. They decided they were checking their luggage in with us. Okay. He took a shower. She did the packing. He got out the shower. She got in the shower. He was looking around the room. He went, oh, she's forgot to pack this. Oh. He, better open that he put his bags outside his cabin between 9.30 and 11. We took care of the rest. The next morning, boom, boom, boom. Well, a very good morning, everybody. It's time to leave your cabins, please. <laughs> Who didn't have any clothes? <laughs> oh, my. Don't let it be you. <laughs> leave something out to wear. Now, there's always an awkward silence because people are like, what happened to the lady? <laughs> yeah. I want you to imagine the final scenes of E.T. You know the scene with the, the bike? Huh? Do, 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 do. Imagine that scene without the bike. <laughs> you're wicked. You shouldn't. I like you. You're wicked. I firmly believe that that blanket belonged to the ship. And we should have taken it back at the gangway. Oh my god. Please. She was lucky. You might not be. Leave something out to wear. Now, when it comes to customs allowances, people often ask, what am I allowed to take back into the United States? So let me tell you very quickly. US citizens can take $800 worth of tax and duty free items, one liter of alcohol, one carton of cigarettes, that's 200, and 100 cigars. Do we have any Canadians in the room? Oh, and you sat up north, that's fitting. Thank you. You like the altitude, right. We've got 800 Canadian dollars worth of tax and duty free items, one carton of cigarettes, only 50 cigars. Don't ask me, take it up with cousin Justin. We also have 1.5 litres of wine and 1.14 litres of liquor for Canadian citizens. This is a per person allowance. So if you're travelling with a family, in a couple, with friends, you can combine your allowances, okay? And do be advised that a lot of your purchases in our shops on board are customs exempt because they are US goods returned to the US. Only if you've exceeded these allowances do you need to fill out a customs form. That's why we don't give them to you all now, because more often than not, you have nothing to declare. If you are in the position where you feel you have something to declare, you can get these forms from Guest Services Deck 3 in the forward of the ship, but you only have to fill them out if you have exceeded your allowance. Now tomorrow, we do have some priority groups for debarkation. How many of you have ever flown on an airplane before? <laughs> then you are familiar with the boarding process on an airplane, right? Often, it's the priority guests that have flown with that airline frequently, the frequent flyer miles and the whatever, wonderful clubs that they've got on board. We have a similar process here for debarkation. Do we have any diamond guests in the room? They're the cruise addicts that have sailed with us a lot. As a thank you for their loyalty, they get offered priority debarkation. 
Do we have any platinum guests in the room? They are just as addicted to cruising. We also offer you priority debarkation, okay? And anybody been staying in a suite? The big room where you have to get out of bed to turn the light off. Yes? For those of you that have been staying in a suite because you booked the fancy cabin, we also give you priority debarkation. We will send you a letter to your cabin with a meeting time and a location. Please turn up at that time at that place. I cannot stop the debarkation process if you decided to have a leisurely breakfast and partway through our general debarkation, you go, hold on, I'm platinum, priority, stop, I'm sorry, coming through, okay? You have a window for priority debarkation. That's at the beginning, okay? If you decided not to turn up at the time and place, you forfeited your priority because everybody else wants to get off the ship as well, right? And I think that's fair. We offer you priority, so please make use of it. If you don't turn up at the time and place that you're asked to, you forfeit your priority status. Clear? Yes. Clear. I know it sounds really serious, doesn't it? Everyone's like, oh, oh. I promise you, it's not as scary as it sounds. We also have friends going to the airport. Who's going to the airport tomorrow? How many of you are flying home? Oh, wow. And who's going on an airplane? I'm kidding. If you haven't made your travel arrangements to get to the airport yet, be advised that we do have an airport transfer service serving both LAX and Long Beach. We advise you to book onto the transfer only if your flight departs after 1 p.m. For those of you that are booked on the transfer, you'll notice that your ticket says shuttle 9 o'clock or 9.30. There is more than one shuttle. That's just the time the shuttles start leaving, okay? So for those of you that are booked on the transfer, don't worry. There will be a coach out there waiting for you whatever time you get off the ship. No panic, no stress. When my mom cruises with me, I put her on the transfer. And if it's good enough for my mom, it's good enough for you. For those of you with early flights, who has a flight before 1 p.m.? That's considered an early flight. So tomorrow we will make special arrangement for you to get off the ship as fast as you possibly can. I recommend those of you with an early flight carry off your own bags if possible. If you can't, please speak to our guest services team. Now, you have to prove you have an early flight. I'm not going to suggest that sometimes people lie to try and get off the ship faster, but sometimes people don't tell the truth. So you have to prove you have an early flight with a boarding pass or some sort of confirmation email. As soon as you prove to us that you have an early flight, we will make the necessary arrangements. For those of you that are carrying off your own bags, please meet the team in the casino, deck four, midship. Tomorrow the casino will be no smoking. Because there are people that are going to be in there that no smoking. See? Okay. So you'll meet in the casino, 9.30, bags packed, ready to go. As soon as we can get you out, we'll get you out. You make your way to the airport stress-free, okay? Deal. Everyone else is like, what about me, Lee? I'll call you by your muster station. Where do you not go? The muster station. Where do you go? The gangway. Where is the gangway? That's a good question. Good question. No! No, it's not on zero. Oh, no. I'm so glad you arrived here. The gangway tomorrow is going to be on deck four in the Panorama Casino. For any guests that require special assistance, wheelchairs, walkers, scooters, okay? We have a team of crew members that are so excited to push you off the ship. <laughs> Please make use of this service if you need to. Be advised, our crew are not allowed to carry suitcases off for you. It's a customs border protection regulation. Our crew cannot carry suitcases. So if you need help with a wheelchair, you have to check your luggage in with us. When your luggage tag is called, make your way to the Limelight Lounge, the comedy club, deck four in the aft of the ship. There will be a team there with wheelchairs. They will push you all the way out, but they cannot carry your bags. Now the gangway is on deck four, midship. Now for this reason, our midship elevators will not be in service tomorrow, okay? We need to control the flow of people to the gangway and how we do that is by utilizing the elevators and staircase in the very front of the ship and the, elevate and the elevator and staircase 
in the very back of the ship. But the midship will be out of bounds. It will not be in service, and there will be a crew member at the bottom sending you back up oh, in wow. the elevator, okay? Naughty, naughty. Also, for that reason, deck four is a no parking, no waiting, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, naughty, naughty zone, okay? <laughs> Unless you can prove you are on an early flight, Unless you have been called to the limelight lounge for special assistance or you're in one of our priority groups, you are not allowed to wait on deck four. Why? Because if you're just, just waiting, we'll call it lurking affectionately, okay? If you're lurking, you're in the way. And when more, a couple of people join you, you create a blockage. We get backed up. And nobody likes being backed up in the morning, do they? No. <laughs> no, it's not comfortable. People get a bit grumpy when they're backed up in the morning, don't they? Tomorrow we want a nice, relaxed, smooth, comfortable flow. And how we achieve that? No lurking on deck four, please. Tomorrow we will be operating facial recognition. How does this work? Can I get a... Ooh. Ooh. U.S. passport holders, also U.S. permanent residents, people with green cards or passport cards, you can make use of facial recognition. When you go through the terminal building, you'll join the passport holders line, you'll come up to a little screen, you'll pull your mask down, it will look at your face, it knows who you are, it'll go boop, you'll get a little green light, and away you go. How awesome is that? No more customs check, no more conversations with an officer. You pull your mask down, only when you get to the machine, boom, and away you go. If you don't get a green light, you get a second attempt. You go again, boom. If you get a green light, good to go. If you get any other color light, don't.